12, and it says that let f of x be a one-to-one -one differentiable function so that f of 1 equals 3, f of 3 equals 4, f prime of 1 equals 2, f prime of 3 equals negative 1, and such that g of x is equal to the inverse of f of x. So the g of x is the inverse of f of x. It says use the fact that f of g of x equals x, and we want to differentiate implicitly. Because we are looking to find g prime of 3. Okay, so it tells us that we're going to need to differentiate this um, implicitly. So we do that by, again, working with each side. So I'm going to work on the outside. So this gives me f prime of g of x times g prime of x is equal to, the derivative of x is 1 dx over dx. So, now that we know this, we're looking for g prime of 3, so our x value is 3. So we want, when we can plug that in, we get f prime of g of 3 times g prime of 3 is equal to 1. So, it also gives us the hint that if f of 1 is equal to 3, what is g of 3 equal to? Well, we know that these two are inverses, so if g of x is an inverse of f of x, all of our x values in our f of x equation become our y values, and all of our y values become our x values in g of x. So, g of 3 is going to be equal to 1 because f of 1 is equal to 3. And these two are inverse functions. So, we can plug that in. So, we know that f prime of g of 3, we know g of 3 is 1, times g prime of 3 is equal to 1. Well, it gives us that f prime of 1 is equal to 2. So, we have 2 times g prime of 3 is equal to 1. So I'm just looking to solve for g prime of 3. So I divide both sides by 2, and I get that g prime of 3 is equal to 1 half. And that answer is E.